Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the next lecture. This is lesson six, part two of the longest lesson name um, in the course. Um, polynomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c where a does not equal one, part two. Last time we did the method logical reasoning. Uh, now we have the second method, uh, which is called decomposition. Um, so we are going to be having the same style of questions just a little bit of a different way to do it. Um, some people find it easier, some people find it not as easy. It's completely up to you what you want to do, except for when it specifies in the question um, which type. So um, let's get into it. So we're going to factor 6h squared plus 11h plus 4. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be decomposing this middle term. We are going to break it up into two different parts um, and then we are going to work with the equation after it's been broken into those parts. So like you remember um, when we multiply two binomials together and then we add the like terms to get this middle term, we're going to be trying to break it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the first and the last number and multiply them together. Uh, to find out what we need to be, uh, what number we need to be finding the factors for. So um, the first problem, we'll scroll down, we don't need to scroll down a little bit. So uh, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So in our table where it says, you know, factors of 24 is on this side, and then the sum of those factors is on this side. So um, Factors of 24 uh, could be 1 and 4, right? 1 times 20, or one times 24 gives you 24. So the sum of those is 25. Now what we're trying to do is find uh, the multiples, or sorry, factors of 24 that add to 11. Uh, 1 and 24 doesn't work. Uh, let's try 2 and 12. Um, 2 times 12 is uh, 24, so that works, but it is 14, and that is not 11. Let's try 8 times 3. The sum of those is 11, so that means I'm going to be decomposing this middle term into 8 and 3. So in um, our first, in the first box, if we scroll down, we can see we're going to write the polynomial in the non-simplified form. So what that means is we're going to be decomposing this 11 uh, in this form here. So after number one, we'll write 6h squared. We've got plus 8h plus 3h plus 4. Now, 8h plus 3h is the same as 11. We haven't changed anything, just changed how we write it. Um, what we're now going to do, if we look at step two, is we're going to remove a common factor from each uh, uh, the first two and the last two. Um, so a common factor between the first two, uh, if we draw an imaginary line down the middle here, I know I can pull a two out, and they share an h as well. So I can pull an h out. So what times 2h would get me 6h squared? That would be 3h. And what times 2h would get me 8h? That would be 4. I'm going to factor out a number from this first part, or from the second part as well. And because that part has no number or variable that we can pull out, we are going to factor out a 1. So we're going to write it as a 1, and we're going to have 3h plus 4. So in the second area on your paper there, this is what we would have written. We factored a 2h out of the first half, and we factored a 1 out of the second half. And now what you'll notice is that these two things are identical, and that is going to be a goal of these. So we can now factor this out. Um, you can imagine that this is a variable, and we are going to be factoring it out. Um, so we're going to have then two parts. We are going to have 2h plus 1 in one bracket, and then I've factored this other part out the back, 3h plus 4. I pulled out a common term from each one. If I was to multiply um, each of these through together, we would get our original um, equation. You can definitely go ahead um, and check that. 
2H plus 1. Yes, 2H plus 4. That is correct. So that is what I would write in the third box down here in your paper. Each product, each product has a binomial uh, common factor. Write the expression as the pair, like we did. Let's get into some uh, problems. Oh, I guess let's go back up a little bit or slide over. There we go. Well, so let's get into a couple of these problems here. We have 3n squared minus 13n minus 10. So if I'm using decomposition to find out how to decom decompose this, I need to multiply 3 by minus 10 and start writing out its factors. So 3 times minus 10 is minus 30. So we need factors of minus 30. Um, we could do minus 10 times 3. And if we add those together, the sum would be minus 7. So not quite. We could do 10 and th uh, minus 3. That would be 7. So it's not quite right there. What else could we do uh, to multiply to 30? We could do 15 and negative 2. Uh, that would get us 13. So we're getting close. I just want negative 13. So I'm going to do negative 15 and uh, multiplied by positive 2. That would get me negative 30. And that would get me negative 13. So I'm going to be breaking down that portion, negative 13, into negative 15 and positive 2. So I'm going to have 3n squared minus 15n plus 2n minus 10. And then I'm going to factor uh, numbers out of the first half and numbers out of the second half to hopefully end up with the same thing in each set of brackets afterwards. So I can factor out a 3 and an n from this first pair. So I'll have 3n. n is what would be left over here, minus 5. And on this one, it looks like I can factor out a 2. So I'll have 2n minus 5 there. I then have the same thing, which is important, uh, which means that I can factor both of those out to be left with these in one set of brackets and this in another. 3n plus 2 multiplied by n minus 5. And that is your answer for 3n squared minus 13n minus 10. Um, so a couple of different ways you can do it, like the previous method, logical reasoning, sometimes takes a little bit longer. Um, but both will definitely get you the same answer every single time. Let's do the next problem. We have 6x squared minus 5x minus 4. So to decompose the middle, we're going to multiply the two outside terms. So we have minus 24. So we want multiples of minus 24 that add to minus 5. Um, let's see, if we do like 6 and minus 4, that doesn't quite work because that's 2. Um, let's do something that's a little bit farther apart. Uh, 8 and 3, yes, 8 and 3 would get us to 24. Uh, we need a negative 8 and a positive 3. That would sum up to negative 5. So we're going to break up this term into those two pieces. 6x squared minus 8x plus 3x minus 4. We are then going to draw uh, a line here and factor something out of the front and the back. So we can have 2x factored out here. That would leave us with 3x minus 4. And we can have a 1 factored out of the back part. So that would leave us with 3x minus 4, because the greatest common factor between those two is 1. I can then pull out um, the part in the brackets towards the back and be left with 2x plus 1 in one set of brackets, and 3x minus 4 in the next. Um, there is now some for you to try on your own. Uh, 12h squared plus 7h minus 10. So do that and come back and uh, we'll see if you got it right. Okay, welcome back. Um, let's give it a go. We have 6, pardon me, that is not what we have. We have 12h squared plus 7h minus 10. 12h squared plus 7h minus 10. Greatest common factor is 1. Let's do decomposition. So finding out what um, two numbers we can break this 7 into. Um, 12 times minus 10 is 1, negative 120. 
So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 120 and add to seven. Um, could be a little bit tricky. Uh, could be like, could it be, let's see, minus 20 and six. Um, that would be minus 14, so not quite. Uh, I know that 15 can be divisible into here. 15 and I believe it is eight uh, multiplied together get us to 120. Yes, it is eight, but I need a negative um, eight to bring it down to positive seven for a sum. So I've got 15 and negative eight is how I'm going to break this part up. So I'm gonna have 12 H squared plus 15 H minus eight H minus 10. I'm going to draw my line down the middle and I'm going to factor out a portion um, of each half. So I can factor a three H out of this part. I'd be left with four H plus five. And out of the back half, I can um, factor, let's see, a negative two. I'd be left with four H plus five. And I wanna make sure uh, that I have the same in each bracket. Because if I do, I can then factor that out this way, being left with three H plus two in one bracket, 4h plus 5 in the next. So 3h minus 2 in one bracket and 4h plus 5. That is your answer. Um, to the, how do you factor 12h squared plus 7h minus 10? Um, it is more reliable when we get higher and higher numbers here. Logical reasoning is really good when you have a prime number, but something like 12 is a very large number, so uh, decomposition is often the way to go when A is a larger number. Um, thanks for everyone for watching, I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, send me an email, leave it in the comments. Thanks very much.